All right, starting off with pink tutu, I wanted this look to be like girly, but also terrifying. I'm super afraid of the it and so conquer my fears. I did have a reference photo. There's actually quite a few that I have and I misplaced them. I got it off Pinterest. So just look up it nails and you will see it on Pinterest. So I am putting this all over my nails or the fake practice tips that I use on my nails instead of a practice hand. So we're doing a super thin coat because this is a buttercream. They also have this in a full gel, but I like the buttercreams if you've been with me for a while. So I'm going to apply a very thin layer starting two thirds of the way down, push towards that cuticle, drag it down and then walk it down the sides because I find that gives me the best coverage along with allowing myself to get close to that cuticle without touching it. For me, that is the key, especially with the uh, practice tips, it's, it can be difficult. So again, touch down, push towards that cuticle and then walk it out to the sides. That's pretty typical if you've been with my channel and we are in the 13 days of Halloween, 13 nights of Halloween. So why not? Let's get a little creepy, okay? So I'm taking 44 by Ugly Duckling. This is their white. You only need one coat of this. I believe I do too, but you really only need one because we are going to draw him on this. Pennywise. Oh, I could just feel like when I was editing this video, I was still like sweating. Like that's how terrified I am of scary movies and this movie in particular. I saw it when I was young. Anyway, so we're taking Crystal and we are gonna go over the pink tutu. And I'm doing a super, super thin coat, really dragging this over that buttercream because I don't want to add any bulk. Most glitters will add bulk, but since this is such a fine glitter, you don't really have to worry about bulk. And that's why I absolutely love Crystal because it adds that oomph without the bulkiness of what a, um, what sort of like if our glitter would normally add, like if you have a chunky glitter or something, this is super fine. So we will go ahead and give that a full cure. And then I am coming in with that second coat and then I will apply a top matte coat over the nails. And we begin Pennywise. So I am doing the eye and then half of the face. Again, I have that reference photo that I am using to mimic this picture. I, I'll see if I can find it. If I can find it, I will link it below because this is definitely not mine. <laughs> and I'm not gonna take credit for it because I, mm -mm, mm -mm. So you see, I left those blanks in it. I am flash curing because I will mess up and mess up and mess up and flash curing preserves your work, especially when I finally, I'm like, oh my God, I finally got it to how I wanted it or good enough, let's just say that. So I am practicing my hand painting a lot lately and with my drill broken, there's a lot of press-ons on this, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of creating that like lower eyeliner kind of smoky part of the eye. Again, flash curing. And then I'm going to come in and start on the eye. So we will kind of outline the black. I do bring it in a little bit more, which you'll see after I take this yellow paint. I did move it in because something just didn't look right. So I'm applying that yellow paint and then I come back in after I flash cured it and we are working on that circle. And I didn't add white there because I'm just using the white background. So I'm coming in with kind of his smirk to his cheek now, a little bit of his mouth, and this is creepy. Uh, 
the original artist did a fantastic job because it still creeps me out even going back here so i'm going to go up and add that kind of scar his nose gonna take some red detailing and then i'm gonna add black over the top of it a little bit and just really outline it to kind of create that like ugh, creepiness to it because when you start adding red and it's looking a little bloody mm, 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 so creepy okay adding that black and then i try to do the swivel it took me like four tries to do it and i had to do it off camera but i wanted to leave two of my mess ups on here because i can't do it mm -mm. so i tried and tried and tried it just didn't work let's go ahead and add our drips because it's pennywise we need some blood in here and we add a little bit more okay so taking that dotting tool and moving it up. I wanted this one to be quick because my hand painting probably took me 45 minutes. I know you guys are probably thinking 45 minutes for that. Yes, 45 minutes because I cannot paint to save my life, okay? we It's a struggle. So now I am taking this, I don't think I mixed it. I think it was, um, oh, something Bunsen. I believe that's what it was. I, oh my God, I cannot remember it. But see how it's kind of like glassy and I really wanted that kind of glassy, dirty look. So I'm rounding out the edges at the top, down where the drips are and where they connect. Because when you do that, it gives it more of a realistic look versus kind of having something squared off. Okay, the balloon got a little dark. I'm not going to lie. It's supposed to be bright red. And I was like, I want it bright red, but I want to get it a little bit creepier and it went real dark. So don't do it as dark as me. Taking regular polish, this is from Born Pretty, just dabbing it in, putting it on my pinky, and then kind of dragging it towards the bottom and tapping because that's going to give me a fingerprint because why not, right? It's bloody mess. So I am doing this in real time and adding my top coat because I worked hard on this set. It might look simple, but for me, it was hard and I enjoyed it actually. I've been really enjoying hand painting. That's really challenging for me. So I'm pushing myself. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to enter the giveaway for my 13 nights. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.